Howdy partner. If you want to learn if a Cruise America RV rental is right for you, well you're in luck for a show you today. Today we're going to do a quick walkthrough of this Cruise America large RV which is similar to their mid-size and compact RVs and tell you about it. We just got a five person family road trip spanning 2,000 miles so we feel pretty comfortable with being able to tell you what's good about this RV. I don't have a lot of negative because this was actually a great experience and I'm not sponsored by Cruise America in any way, but this was really, really a fun time. So come on in, let's show you around. Now you come in, you have a door or a screen door that can also open here if you want to have some nice inside out. We did our video on seat belts specifically, but you have nine seat belts in this large RV. Now the year today is 2023. This is this model is a couple years old, so they do change them out, but generally speaking, this is pretty standard. You're gonna have your two front seats with two seat belts, obviously. And this is comfortable. They're nice, comfortable seats, pretty simple dash. And what you can do is you can get in and out from here. So, you know, if the co-pilot needs to go and get a drink, they can get up safely. You may not be able to do that in every state because you have your seat belts, but when you stop, you can get up and do that. So we've got all this space here. Up here, you've got a big bed. This cushion pulls over and this bed is really large. I mean, we had trouble fitting queen size sheets on here. So this might be a king size, very large. You've got openings to vent air as well as AC if you want it, but there's a lot of room up here, really sturdy. There's actually a foothold here that you stand on, don't hit your head, and a grab thing to get on up. So pretty easy. Right here you have your dinette, four seat belts as well. Neat thing is there's two tether anchors here. So you've got this, if you have the uh, car seats, you can take this off. You can use a nice hard wood surface underneath and you can use those tether anchors. There are not two tether anchors over here, only on this side. This here is a very comfortable couch, sort of is at a good angle, could sit here for a while, it actually is really, really nice. And then it does kick out into a jackknife sofa, you just lift it and move it out. You gotta make sure the front seat is forward first, it's back so it's not gonna do it. One thing about this, there is an enormous amount of storage. You have storage kicked all over, they stay open, got more over here, more over here, the kitchen has tons and tons of storage there's built-in storage in here for plates and cups and I'll let you check that out all sorts of things they've really gone above and beyond we have a smaller pop-up camper and we're not used to having so much storage it's just really fantastic now there is no oven there's a microwave and then there's a range the range does have a vent that goes out the side of the camper if you're making something on here we made chili didn't stick up the camper this is a gas range there's a built-in gas tank outside you turn that on easy to start Speaking of the gas tank, this refrigerator runs on propane while you're driving. Makes no sense to me either, but it runs on propane while you're driving, and then when you pull in somewhere and plug in, it runs on electric. There's an on-off switch that automatically switches. So it just sips that propane, uses very, very little, but as soon as you get going, it'll go ahead and cool off on propane if you have it turned on auto, and then when you plug it in, the propane shuts off, goes electric. You pull out, unplug, it goes back to propane. So you're gonna have a cold refrigerator freezer. I'd recommend when you start your trip, Go ahead and get everything organized, get everything stocked up, you'll be good to go. We have a nice large sink here, a really big sink, uh, very nice for doing dishes. Your plugs will not work while you're driving unless you're running your generator, nor will your microwave and a few other things. But your generator is easy to run if you need to run them for a few minutes while you're driving. The AC in the front runs while you're driving. This requires a generator or shore power. Generator button is right here. You basically just hold the start. It'll go ahead and start the generator and then you can turn it off later. Got an hour meter, pay about three hours an hour for the generator, but you're not gonna put that many hours on it. Then you have a water heater. The water heater takes about 10 minutes. It's gas as well, but it's again, turn it on. 10 minutes later, piping hot water. We took a couple showers in it, no problem whatsoever. You have a water pump, you just turn it on. And now you've got water that will run. The water pump runs off the car battery. So that will run all the time. And then you have a levels test here that will tell you where you are on your fresh water, your black water how your battery's doing, your propane's getting a little low, kind of shows you all that stuff. Coming on to the back, we got a nice bed here. I don't know if it's a full size or a queen size. Again, you've got hanging lockers here, more storage there. You're able to get all your clothes set up. The bed was comfortable, pretty springy, but it was nice and it was nice and uh, comfortable. You got lots of light, lots of windows. Um, we will go ahead and go around this way. You have a shower. And the shower actually has a uh, 
a little uh, skylight, I guess you'd call it. It's more a dome to make you fit. Now I am six feet tall and I can fit in this shower without touching the top. We just cleaned it. it feels like I just got a footprint on here, so I'll have to clean that again. Then we have uh, your bathroom here. Bathroom's got a toilet. Toilet, when it's got water in it, it's normal flush. You step on here, it'll do the power pressure water. That will run off the car battery. You've got your sink, more storage, and a storage medicine cabinet. Really, really, really nice. Actually, more storage under here that we hadn't even found until after this whole road trip video. So, hope that helps. I want to show you one more thing. All these rooms have tons of curtains. So there's curtains here that can close, but also this door can serve as a door to the master bedroom. It has a catch up here at the top, so you can have a nice private bedroom. On top of that, you've got curtains over all the windows. This area closes in, plenty of privacy. So let's step on outside, give a quick walk through outside and show you what else we have. So a lot of hatches, I'm not gonna go through all of them. This one here is that propane I talked about. You just turn that open when you first get going. I'll probably show you at the store. Come on back here. The outdoor storage on this is absolutely insane. Lots of outdoor storage. You've got tons of room there. I'll show you over here. Even more room in here. You could probably sleep somebody in here, although I do not recommend it. That would not be safe. This also has a foldable table that's built in. Your water hose is here. Really, really nice that you have all this space. And best of all, it is lit so you can turn it on. And then that says it will turn off automatically, but I would turn it off when you're done. Come on around. You hook up your water here for your hose. Your fuel is just regular unleaded fuel. You have your shore power, which is your line to plug in. It's currently plugged in a generator, which is how you should leave it when you're driving so you can run off the generator. You have your sewer connections down here. You're just gonna take this hose that stores right here. You plug the hose in down here, open it up, open the black first, let the black water run out. That's from your toilet. After that's run out, open that. That's the gray water from your shower and sinks. That'll flush it. Then your hose stores right back in here nicely. I'd wear gloves while you're doing that. It's kind of gross. Okay. Then right here, you have your generator we talked about, which you don't really need to see, but it's stored there. It pulls off the same fuel tank and it burns about, I think a gallon an hour or so, but don't quote me on that. Coming around, you've got great mirrors, very little blind spot on those mirrors. You do have a couple blind spots when you're making left or right. But generally speaking, those mirrors do a really good job. And it drives like a large car. Very impressed by this. I was able to go comfortably about 65 to 70 miles per hour, and that felt safe. Um, you know, each RV is probably a little different, but this one drove really, really nice, very manageable. You gotta know when you're going to a gas station, kind of make sure you don't pull the ones too tight, but you didn't need special gas stations or anything. I was just getting outside pump, and it was very easy. The kids had a great time. It was a lot of fun. It was very comfortable accommodations. You got sleeping all over the place for everybody and it was super easy plug it in you're good to go you want to hook up water you can do that too definitely an awesome awesome experience highly recommend this cruise america rental pretty basic systems if you've never done it before you can too in terms of figuring out how to use it and if you have any questions or comments about this please put it in the comment box i'll try to get right back to you again this is a large one although the mid-size or compact are very very similar so Hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you appreciate this content. And remember with all these, if I can do it, you can too.